We're looking at the independent samples t-test where the output approximates that of the SPSS statistical software. We'll be looking at a sum of the 10 scenarios that are part of each game. Let's get started by pressing the start button. So we're going to evaluate the scenario. To retain the null, we'll click on the scenario card. To reject the null, we'll click on the reject the null hypothesis card. Here's our scenario. <clears throat> Compare means between two groups. Both distributions are fairly normal. However, there's not a guarantee that the variability of the two distributions is similar. So there'll be a test for that. So we'll look at first the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis says that the mean for group one is going to be larger than or equal to the mean for group two. This is a one-tail test. So we'll look at the evidence here. And in fact, the evidence goes the opposite way. Uh, mean for group one is a 32.53, and the mean for group two is a 42.18. So it's worthwhile to keep going through this process, see if we reject the null. <clears throat> now, because we don't know that the variability for the two groups is similar, we're going to need to take a look at Levine's test for equality of variance. And if, this, if the significance is 0.05 or less, then we will reject that idea of equality of variances. And in fact, in this case, significance is 0.004. So instead of being able to assume equal variances, we're going to have to go with equal variances not assumed. <clears throat> now, looking in that, under that heading, we see that for this statistical test, the uh, t-test is a negative 1.72, degrees of freedom of 51.53, and the significance two-tail is 0 0.091. Now, this is a one-tail hypothesis test, so we're going to take this two-tail value, and we are going to divide it in half. So, you know, if you have your calculator, you can just do 0 0.091, divide it in half, and you get something like 0 0.0455. And that's going to be less than our alpha level of 0 0.05. So we will reject the null hypothesis. Now, another way of thinking about this is instead of dividing the uh, 0 0.091 in half to compare to 0 0.05, we could just take it as it is and compare it to 0 0.1, and it's less than 0 0.1. So if that trick helps you, great. If not, you know, just divide the significance two tail and a half anytime you're dealing with the one tail test and compare it to your alpha level of 0 0.05. So we reject, click on the reject card. For the second scenario, where we're, again, we're comparing means between two groups. Our null hypothesis is that the mean for group one is less than or equal to the mean for group two. The evidence is going the opposite direction. Uh, the mean for group one is a 76.72. The mean for group two is a 74.21. So it's worthwhile to continue looking at uh, these next steps. So Levine's test for equality of variance significance is 0.002. It's not saying we shouldn't assume equal variability for these two different groups. So rather than looking under the equal variances assumed, Heading, we're going to go down to the equal variances not assumed. And the t-test is a 0.29, which is a very small value. Degrees of freedom is 14.7. Is Significance two-tail is 0.776. So if we divide that in half, it's still going to be much larger than our alpha level of 0.05. So we will retain the null. That's to say that this difference of 76.72 and 74.21, yes, it's there is a difference, but it's not statistically significant. Our p-value even when we divide this in half because it's one tail, it didn't get to 0.05 or less, so we retain. Okay, in this scenario, uh, we're looking at a two-tail test. The null hypothesis is that the mean for group one is the same as the mean for group two. Research hypothesis would be that they're different. The mean for group one is a 21.96. Mean for group two is a 33.43. So there is a difference, and, and that's not particularly surprising. I mean, we wouldn't expect them to be the exact same. But is this difference statistically significant? So we continue down the, the steps here. We go to Levine's test for quality of variances. Significance is 0.434. Now that's larger than uh, 0.05. So we get to assume equal variances here. So we take a look at this upper row. And our t comes out to be a negative 1.97. Uh, that's, <clears throat> that's, you know, in the zone, maybe. Degrees of freedom is 60. Significance two tail is a 0.054. Oh, so close. If it had been 0.05 or less, we could have rejected the null, but it's just slightly too big. So we are retaining the null. We'll click here on the scenario card. Okay, in this next scenario, 
Uh, again, we're looking at two-tailed test. The mean for group one is equal to the mean for group two, as I say by the null hypothesis. The research hypothesis can be that they're different. Looking at the evidence, the mean for group one is a 46.87. The mean for group two is a 60.23. We see a difference. Is it statistically significant? We continue on. Levine's test for equality of variance and significance is 0.085. That's larger than an alpha of 0.05. So we cannot, or actually, <clears throat> since it's larger than an alpha level of 0.05, we can continue to assume uh, equality of variances. So we get to go to this upper row here. The t-test is a negative 1.65. That doesn't look to be particularly big. Degrees of freedom is 33. And the significance, two-tail, and this is a two-tail test, uh, it's 0.1. 0, 08 and it had to be 0 0.05 or less so we are retaining the null hypothesis okay for this scenario uh, null hypothesis says that the mean for group one is larger than the mean for group two the mean for group one look at the evidence is actually larger than the mean for group two so we don't have to look at anything else we know we're going to retain this null hypothesis so we just click on the scenario card okay here's another uh, two-tailed test uh, mean, no hypothesis says mean for group 1 is the same as mean for group 2. The evidence says that the mean for group 1 was a 26.43 and the mean for group 2 is a 38.56. Continuing down these uh, steps, Levine's test for equality of variance significance is 0 0.003. We can reject the idea of, of equal variances. We're not going to reject the no hypothesis, but we're going to reject the idea of equal variances. So we're going to look under this heading, equal variances not assumed. The t-test is a negative 2.53. Uh, it's looking pretty good there. Degrees of freedom is 70.34. And significance, two-tail is a 0 0.014, which is less than alpha level 0.05. So we will reject the null hypothesis.